cleanse me up, yes. hallelujah, from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, God. hallelujah. Thank you, Yeshua. Put them in the lap. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yeshua. I'm going to see you. Amen. Hallelujah. It's time to cry. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yeshua. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Yeshua. I'm going to see you. Thank you and praise him for the cleansing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Yeshua. Hallelujah. Have your way, Yeshua. Somebody say, have your way. He know every human being. 
That's why I keep my eyes upon your shoes. I keep my eyes on him and not on man. Not on witness. Or not on men. Because sometimes you watch men, you watch women, you watch human beings, you'll fall by the wayside. You'll be kicked to the curb. You'll die and go to that burning hell. Because sometimes I say, Lord, who is saved? I do. I say, yes, sure, who is saved? Who is saved? Because sometimes I be wanting to know who is saved. But sometimes you see like nobody wants to be saved, but nobody's saved. Everybody want to get in their flesh. Everybody want to walk in their flesh. Everybody want to be of the devil. Yeah. Sometimes I ask you, who is saved? He said, you just stay saved. In other words, none of your business. You stay saved. You stay holy. You keep my commandments. You keep my judgment. You keep my stature. Yes, Lord. Don't look at people. Amen. Keep your eyes upon me. He said, because I got them. Because ain't no sin got him into the kingdom of God. None whatsoever. No sin got him into the kingdom of God. No. So I don't care how well they preach, what an eloquent speaker they may be. He said, ain't none of that going to get nobody in, in the kingdom of God. None whatsoever. No. So, be all God so we got, he said, we got to be holy. He said, I'm looking for a holy people. A people that would obey my word. A people that would stand on my word when all else fail. You still got to stand. Amen. And that's what I'm going to do through your sure I'm going to see that strengthen me. I'm going to stand on the word of God. And I'm going to live it. I'm going to preach it. Through your sure I'm going to see that strengthen me. And I don't care whether you want to hear it or not. I'm going to say what thus says the Lord. I done made up my mind. I done been bought with a price. Ain't, ain't nobody on this earth, amen, died for my sin. Nobody but Yeshua. Amen. Not a human being on this earth amen. died for my sin. Not one. Not one. Ain't a human being got me living today. Not one. Nobody but you're sure I'm a seer. Yes. From the day, amen, my mother, amen, got pregnant with me, and then you're sure ever since. Amen. Do you hear? Ain't no man, ain't mama didn't do it. You sure kept me in the womb. That's do you right. hear me? That's right. You sure amen. kept you all in the wounds of your mother. Ain't no mama did it. Amen. amen. Well, you sure did it. Because yes. had it been a lot of these mothers, and they would have bored us. Yes. Come on, love, you sure. Hallelujah. It's all your sure how I see Because he knew, amen, the plan that he had for our life. Yes. He knew what destiny he had for us to take. Mm -hmm. It was already preordained. This day, where we were going to be and who we were going to be. This day. Yes. <coughs> so I give your sure the glory and I give him the praise. Yes, Lord. I give your sure, amen, the honor. Hallelujah, which he so originally deserved. Amen. Hallelujah. I give it to you, sure. I'm going to see you. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm not. Amen. We're going to get ready. Amen. And go on into the word of Yeshua. Amen. I'd like to give honor. Amen. To the spirit of Yeshua. I'm going to see you. Hallelujah. I give honor to my husband, Chief Apostle Goldston. I give honor to my mother, Nicholas Lafitte. I give honor to Hattie. I give honor to all our viewers. Amen. That were reviewing us. Amen. We thank Yeshua for each and every one of you. Everybody in here, out here, amen, everywhere. We give Yeshua the glory and praises. This program goes out, amen, to the sick and the shed in, those that are in bereavement in this hour all over this world. This program goes out to you. This program goes out to my husband, amen, who will be having a birthday on tomorrow, Chief Apostle Ghosta. This program goes out to you. Okay. Amen. It goes out to you. Amen. The program goes out to our daughter who had a birthday on the 15th of this month. No leader. The program goes out to you. Amen. Amen. And Amen. And Sonia, who we're having one on the 20th. <laughs> this program goes out to you. Amen. Amen. So we have, amen, a father and two daughters. Amen. Birthday in the month of July. 
amen, that our wedding anniversary, amen, I thank you, sure, that we've been married, amen, 19 years, amen, on the 10th of this month, amen, mother and daddy, the fifth, amen, we'll be married 59 years on the 24th, on the 25th of this month, amen, praise God, amen, and amen to uh, Bro Wesley, I mean, Minister Wesley, amen, the program goes out to you, who having a birthday on tomorrow, Amen. You that have a birthday. Amen. To um, Prophetess Lucilla White. Amen. The program goes out to you. We had a birthday on July the 10th. Amen. I remember that too. Amen. Amen. I praise your shoe. All of you that have a birthday, as I say, amen, that have a birthday on the month of July, wedding anniversary. Amen. This program goes out to you. Amen. You that are in bereavement, you that graduated from college. Amen. This program goes out to you. High school, it goes out to you. Amen. Amen. Really Amen. Wilbur and Shirley had a wedding anniversary on this month, the ninth. 29 years, I believe. Amen. Amen. My sister Shirley. Amen. The program goes out to you and your husband, Wilbur Peterson. 29 years. Amen. And Trayvon. Amen. Amen. Trayvon, who had a birthday? I have a birthday on this month. It goes out to all you that having birthdays. Amen. In the month of July. I can't go on calling all these names out. Amen. Because I never get through, but the word is more important. But I do want to let you know. Amen. Don't have to call your name. But this, when I say the program goes out to everybody. Amen. When I say especially, amen, my husband, he's here. Amen. And I tell you, you're sure. Amen. Got him here. Hallelujah. And I pray you're sure. Hallelujah. And I appreciate you're sure. Amen. Now we get get ready to have some words. I, I don't like all those announcements. <laughs> I don't like them. I don't. Amen. I don't. Amen. Lord have mercy. I get out of breath. Amen. But I Amen. praise Yeshua. I praise Him for another day that He allowed us to enter into. Amen. I praise Yeshua. Amen. I just thank Him this morning. Amen. For allowing us to wake up. Amen. And to get ready. Amen. To get back in the house, back in the tabernacle, back into the synagogue. Amen. To preach and teach the word. Amen. Because how many of you know everything going down but the word of God. Amen. And I know that we got to abide by this holy word. If we want to make it into the kingdom of God. Amen. We got to lay aside every sin and way. Anything that calls sin, we got to let it go. Amen. I, and I mean we got to let it go for God knows. Whether we're going to let it or go, he knows whether we're going to hold on to it. He already know. He already know. He already know who's sincere. And he know who is what playing around. He know. God know. He knows a sincere heart. He know a broken heart when he sees it. And a contrite spirit. God knows. And it's time for the hearts of every human being to be broken to be crushed, to be sorry for, for the sin that we ever committed against Yeshua HaMessiah, Jesus Christ. It's time to be godly sorry for, for the things that we have done. I can't, I, mean, I can't give an account what somebody else done done. Amen. But I can repent for what I have done. I can be sorry for what I have done yes. or what I am done. But I can't, amen, be, amen, I can't stand before God for nobody else but myself. But I can, we can cry out as holy peoples. We can cry out for other souls to be saved. But we can't repent for them. They got to have a well made up mind to come to Yeshua for themselves. And I pray in this hour, amen, that you will come, amen, to the knowledge, you that are not saved, you that are not holy, I pray, amen, that you will come to the knowledge and realize, amen, that your soul is at stake. And I don't care, amen, who done told you, amen, that we don't have to obey the word of God. There's a liar and the truth is not in them. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. There's a liar and the truth is not in them. Amen. I've I, I seen some things, people saying that, Amen. They made themselves. They said it looked like the devil. We don't know what the devil looked like. I seen somebody, amen, they call themselves the human devil. The human devil. They cut off their nose. 
They cut out their fingers, amen. They don't mark themselves all kinds of ways. Amen. Don't make themselves, amen. Really don't, you can't tell what they really are. But I'm going to tell you, you're going to have to pay for that. Because you know, if you, if we can just understand the word of God and realize that the devil himself, listen people, the devil, the adversary, himself, oh Lucifer, himself, he is going to be thrown into the lake of fire. Yeah, he is yeah. going to be burned. Him yeah. and his angels, his followers. Amen. So why do you want to imitate? Why do you want, amen, to look like the devil? Why do you want to live like the devil? Why do you want to obey something that is cursed? Why do you want to obey something, amen, that, amen, he don't, the devil don't have no love for a human being? He does. I'm telling you right now. The devil don't have no love for us because God made us after his own image. The devil was not made after God's own image. He was up there in the kingdom with God, in heaven with God, but he was not made in God's own image. So we got something that the devil is jealous of us because we got a soul. Amen. And we are made in the image of God. And that's why the devil hates us because God made us in his own image. Amen. Now why do you want to serve? The devil's an enemy to God. So why do you want to serve something that is a losing battle? Why do you want to serve something that is a losing battle? He ain't never told us to do nothing right because ain't no right in him. Never will. So why do you want to waste your time serving the devil? Lord help me. And forgive me forever, sir. The devil, the adversary, oh Lucifer. Forgive me, Yeshua. Sure. He ain't never meant me no good. And I don't want to mean him no good either. And I know, amen, that long as we stand on the word of God and be a doer of the word of God, we are enemy to the devil. Amen. But once, amen, you stop obeying the word of God, you is the devil friend. Mm. You is the mean. devil friend. So why you want to be a friend to God enemy? Mm. That's huh? foolish. That's stupid. Why do we want to be a friend to God enemy and we saying that we are the cherry of God? Should not be said. We better have something to think about. Yes. Amen. Yes. We better start thinking. Yes. Anytime, amen, we want to do evil, think on evil, we get the devil, amen, room to come in. Anytime you want to look at evil, we get the devil room to want to come in. Anytime we do evil, we don't gain the devil room to come in. A little bit about that come and say a little leavy. Leavy the whole lot. Huh? You start looking just a little bit. Before you know it, amen, you don't look all the way out there. Yeah. You start sinning, amen. That's a little tell, that's tell one lie. Before you know, amen, you be the biggest lie that you just in the world. Yes. And God said, a lie you will not tear it inside. That's the word. A little level, level, a whole lot. Yes, it is. You start, amen, looking, amen, and thinking about things that is not holy, that is not godly, that are not pleasing to God. You add a little bit more sin to it. Little levy, levy the whole lot. For you know, amen, you'll be gonna rise. You backslide. See, backsliding, if you're holding those fears, backsliding is a process. You just don't backslide overnight. You start grappling, amen, little bit by little bit, not obeying the word of God, not doing the things, amen, that you're supposed to be doing for God and to God. Little bit, you let it go. Well, shave a little bit of this out. I stop doing a little bit of this. I stop giving a little bit of this. I stop, amen, praying here. I stop, amen, reading the word here. Amen, I start looking at this. I start looking at naked men. I start looking at naked women. I start thinking about things. I start being evil. I start holding animosity. Uh-huh. 
I start thinking about those that did me wrong. And, and start back hating them again. The devil is alive. Yes, he is. Let's see. That's what the devil do. He comes. Yes. Like running water. He'll come at you. When you're at your best, he'll come at you. He begin to talk to your mind. And before you know it, man, you, oh yeah, I sure did. Then you look across out at your pastor, looking across out at your bishop. You look at slew footed. Uh huh. You look at cock eyed at everybody in the church. Uh huh. Cause of what? Of the devil. You don't have to talk with the devil. Stop talking to the devil. Amen. Talk to your short. Yeah. That's who we need to talk to. Talk to your short. You want, amen, to talk to somebody about your problem, <laughs> who done done you wrong, amen, talk to your sure about it. Hallelujah. Go to him. Yeah. Amen. That's who we go to. I go to your sure about everything. I don't care if somebody act funny towards me or if my feeling in any kind of way, I go straight to him. I do. I act funny towards somebody, I go straight to your sure. Amen. I sure do. I talk to him about it. Yes, Lord. Because he's the one that can fix me up. He's the one that can clean me up. He's the one that can straighten me up. Amen. But you want to go to the devil. And some of these people you talk to ain't nothing but the devil. Amen. Come on, love your shoes. You want to go to them. And they're going to help you, amen, hate. They're going to help you to hate. You're going to be in agreement with them. Cause they always gonna tell you what you what your flesh wanna hear. Something amen. wrong. Uh -huh. But now you tell them, amen, what something of what does says the Lord, amen. God said, uh, pray for them. Pray for them. They don't wanna hear that. No, they don't. They'll get mad with you for that. Yes. But that's what we better be telling them. Pray for them. And pray much for yourself. Amen. I tell people, pray much for yourself. Pray for them and, and pray much for yourself. Cause I'm sure not gonna be praying much for myself. Amen. I don't pray for nobody more than I pray for myself. I know that's right. If I stand here before you all and before God, before God, and before you all and tell you all that I pray much for you all and less for myself, I'll be a liar. Amen. And I'm not going to be a liar for you, Amen. myself, and nobody else. Amen. Do you hear me? I mean Amen. that. For God said, a liar will not tear in his sight. Amen. Let us go on. I just wanted to elaborate on that for a few minutes because the devil don't mean nobody no good. No, no, no human being, no good. Amen. He don't mean us no good, people. So, so stop being the devil, buddy. Stop being his friend. Why you want to be a friend to your enemy? Oh, my God. Ooh. Why you want to be a friend to your enemy? <laughs> That's stupid. Why do you want to be a friend with somebody want to take you to hell? Mm -hmm. And anybody that want to, amen, anybody that want to, amen, encourage you to do evil or want to seduce you to do evil, they want to take you to hell. Amen. Anybody want you, amen, to have, to, to, to commit adultery or to fornicate or to lie, to cheat, and to steal, they want to take you to hell. They amen. ain't your friend. Amen. Do you hear me? Yeah. They ain't your friend. Yeah. They are your enemy. Amen. Do you hear me? Because yeah. a friend, they look after your soul. They gonna help you, amen, to make the right decision. Yeah. They gonna talk to you. They gonna tell you it's wrong to do this. It's wrong to look at that. It's wrong, amen, to have that man wife. It's wrong to have that woman husband. Amen. Even though they know their friend is done, even though they know their house is done, even though they know that their bishop is done, they'll go and tell their bishop, they'll go and tell their pastors, they'll go and tell their apostles. Amen. It's wrong to be sleeping around, it's wrong to be horned around, and you saying that you are men and women of God. Amen. I don't care if it's your daughter, I don't care if it's your son. If they saying that they're men and women, I don't care if it's your son in law, amen. I don't care if it's your daughter in law, amen. If they ain't committing adultery, and you are bonded them, and yet you're not up under them, you're supposed to tell them the truth. Yes, yes Lord. Tell them the truth. Tell them it's wrong. I don't mind telling people it's wrong. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. I don't mind coming against them. I don't mind. Do you hear me? I don't mind telling them, man, it's wrong to be shacked and you need to marry. I don't mind telling my children that. I don't mind telling them. Amen. You feel what I'm telling? I say you need to be married. I don't mind telling the women, say, man, that they're sleeping with. Hey, man, stop letting that boy, that man, that boy sleep with you until you marry you. Amen. I don't mind telling them. Yes, I will. And yes, I do. Yes, Lord. I don't mind telling people, amen, the truth. Some got to help them, amen, to, to, to stay out there burning hell. Because if you ain't saved and you should have to die in your sin, you're going to that burning hell. Amen. I don't care what preacher get up and preach. They might want to sit down. And God going to start slapping these preachers down for preaching these folks into the kingdom of God and knowing that they ain't living it. Amen. Amen. That's blood on, on you all hand. That is blood. I went to one funeral back here and I, I, I heard them. I tried to put nobody in there. And they preached that word this year. One funeral. Amen. Out of all the funerals I've been to, I went to one funeral that I heard somebody preach the word and ain't trying to put nobody into the kingdom of God. Amen. Now that was a word there. Amen. He preached to us. Yes. He preached to us. He preached to us. He said, oh, I know what he went to. I know all he in heaven. Let me get up and say that. He preached to us the word. And that's what we need. The dead don't need the word. The dead don't need the word. Those that are, those that are spiritual dead need the word. But those that land there and they cast it, and nothing that you can say, gonna get them up, or put them in the heaven, or put them in hell. So you might well preach the word. That somebody that are spiritual dead might become alive in your sure homicide. Come on, love him today. My Lord. My Lord. Amen. We're going to, amen, the book, the Bible of Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 6. And it'll be page to you, uh, complete Jewish readers, 1427. Amen. To the Jewish readers, the complete Jewish Bible. It'll be 1 Corinthians chapter 6, page 1427. And you King James Version readers, amen. It'll be 1 Corinthians chapter 6. And we're going to begin at verse 10. I believe verse 10. Amen. Let us bow our head in prayer. In the name of Yeshua HaMasih, we thank and praise you, Almighty Yeshua, for allowing us, amen, to wake up this morning and or get ready and get dressed to eat and pray this morning. We just thank and praise you for how you allowed us to come into your sanctuary this morning. Hallelujah. Leaning and depending upon you for all things. Hallelujah. I come to you, Yeshua, as a little infant. Waiting on his mother, hallelujah, to nurse her. Hallelujah. I'm waiting on you to feed me, Yeshua. Hallelujah. I'm waiting on you, Yeshua, to anoint these lips of clay. Because your word is already anointed. Your word is already holy. And I'm asking you, you should help this on flesh your minds. Let it decrease, hallelujah. And let your Holy Spirit increase with more wisdom, more knowledge, with more understanding of your holy word. That your word may, hallelujah, may go out, Lord God, and may go out and accomplish what it need to accomplish in our life. In the name of Yeshua HaMasiah. I pray for everyone that are sick. I pray for those that, hallelujah, those that are in bereavement in this hour, I pray for strength in the name of Yeshua. I do say amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yeshua. Let's give my hand clap of praises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yeshua. I'm going to see you. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, and I believe verse um, 10. But I think I'm going to start at verse 9 first. Verse 9. Then I'm going to go to uh, verse 10. 
Hallelujah. Amen. And we still, amen, we still on talking about that who will go to hell. And it, today is part three. Who will go to hell? And the Bible letting us know, amen, that the Torah letting us know that if we don't change our ways, and I'm giving you scriptures, that you can see for yourself that if you should have to die, or if I should have to backslide, which I pray not in the name of Yeshua, and should have to die, backslide and die, it letting us know who will go to hell. That while it behooves you, amen, when you hear the scriptures come out right now, so you can go home and study them. So you will know, amen, that, amen, where you, amen, the life you live in, you'll know, amen, where you're going. Ain't nobody, amen, judging you, but you already know where you're going. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yeshua, I'm going to see you. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Let me get my eyes there. Thank you, Lord. Verse 9. Don't you know that the unrighteous people will have no share in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Don't delude yourself. Don't delude yourself. Hallelujah. People who engage in what? 